the uh, returns from the election from yesterday, my friends and I. Well, go ahead and talk about that. Go ahead and, but before we do that, go ahead and do an introduction. Go to see you are, Charlotte. I'm sorry? Go ahead and do an introduction. Tell us who you are, Charlotte. Oh, I'm Charlotte Bergman. I'm the GOP nominee for the congressional seat of Tennessee 9. I am running for U.S. Congress because I, along with this other um, Republican, which is hard, of the direction of our country. And, and there is a way for us to get back on the right track. But it's going to take strong, energetic people who understand business who also know how to get back on track. Right. Um, I'm a graduate of Christian Brothers University with a bachelor's degree and a uh, certified MBA and an associate degree. And I've got lots of experience in business, having mm. worked at FedEx for over 10 years ago, so, and they're creating applications and development to help FedEx to make the serious money that it was making. Mm -hmm. I'm a small business owner, and I'm a radio talk show host, and I live in a community right now which is considered the the most dangerous community in the United States. Right. When you look at the fact that uh, there are people who are robbing, killing, stealing, when you compare that with what was going on in the 30s, people who had jobs or who had some type of uh, secure livelihood didn't in their time and efforts going after someone else's property. And we've got a serious problem in our country, and we can't just continue to sweep these problems underneath the rug and, and feel like our legislators who pass these laws and policies to impact what is going on in our nation mm -hmm. and not make the change. Right. It might be done. Right. I think it will be done. Right, and one thing too we want to mention that uh, you know here you are a candidate, and you know they the as you know the liberal press has has called us racist, the Tea Party racist as a whole as United. Uh, we are we are they called us divided. We are you know, they're trying to push the, the liberal Republican vote as you know with Bob Beckel and 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 uh, Bob Dole. And Jimmy Carr saying that we need to push out the, re the liberal Republican vote to win back the Senate in the White House and also win back Congress. That's what we need to do. And Con and Bob Beckley even said that the, uh, the Republicans, no, no, sorry, Christian Power said the Democrats need to work with the Republicans and the Republicans need to work with the Democrats. Uh, I, I I don't see where this is going, but go ahead, Charles. I want you to get your insight because you're because uh, as you know, you're a small business owner and you are a radio talk show host. You have you have had guests on who have argued who have argued with you. Uh, talk about this. Get your reaction. I want to know your reactions. Go ahead, Charlotte. And and I need to totally understand what the essence of your question is because you you brought out a number of things. What I gather, am I correct? And I'm assuming that what you're saying is we cannot come together in terms of uh, Democrats and and Republicans. Yeah, they want no, no, they want no, they want they they we have to we have to no they want the liberal press wants us to work uh, the liberal the liberal republic they want to push the liberal Republican vote so we can so the liberal Republicans can work. With the Democrats, that's what they're pushing for. Go ahead, and this is ridiculous, outrageous. Go ahead. Okay, now in terms of my district, and every particular district is unique, it's very unique, and that's why I'm a strong supporter of state drugs. Right. I can't answer for what's going on in another community, but in my district, and the reason we have been losing in our district is because it is approximately 65% Democrat. Right. So Republicans are outnumbered. Well, I'm a Frederick Douglass Republican. And as I alluded to earlier, before the big uh, change in the 60s when people who are Democrats began to take government handouts, they were more independent, more self-sufficient. What's happening in my community is that although people are taking the handouts, many of them still have social values. And um, what is happening is when they take the handout, 
those social values are eroded and they eventually accept them without really challenging them. Right. In my district, I must reach across the aisle without giving up my values, mm-hmm. maintaining my values, my fiscally responsible uh, economic values, as well as my social values, which coincide with so many of the people in my community. Uh, I must do that. I will do it. And last night we had an election. We had our local election, uh, our county election. There were Republicans who actually uh, got a bump, and we retained uh, leadership in my district from 2010 when the Tea Party was initially organized and was successful in getting Republicans elected. The Democrats wanted to say, well, the Republicans won during that time because that was something that would only happen once in a lifetime. But what actually happened was there was a repeat from last night because the Democrats decided to cross over and vote for those Republicans. Mm -hmm. And it can be done, and that, in my district, is the only way we can win. Right. It's extremely important. We don't give up our values, but it's extremely important that we embrace those people who share our values and bring them over to our party. I hate to say this, but if every single, especially in the year 2020, if every single Republican voted without reaching out and bringing in other people, we still lose. So we've got to grow our our parties. But we've got to respect the Constitution. We've got to have limited government. We've got to encourage people to take personal responsibility for their lives. And we've got to respect life. Yeah, we do. That is what we need to make our country great again. And we also have to do those essential things like securing our borders, making sure that our country is secure and strong again. And we have a weak leader. And many people have been deceived by this leader, but many people are beginning to wake up and they're beginning to say, I don't have to just stick with the same party in right. order to have a better life. Because people in my community have lost their jobs, homes are being foreclosed on, churches are being foreclosed on. Enough people begin to realize that we've got to change direction. And that is exactly what's going to help me in winning my race and it's going to help me in, in working with a strong coalition of Republicans in Washington, D.C. to ensure that this country is returned to the greatness that it truly deserves to be. Bingo! Well, I certainly need-